ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರ ಸಂಭ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರಿ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ಸ್ ಸಮಾಜೀಸ್ ಸತ್ಸಂಗೀಸ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಥ್ರೂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಟಿ ವಿ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಟಿ ವಿ ಸಾಧನಾ ಟಿ ವಿ ಈಶ್ವರ್ ಟಿ ವಿ ಜನಶ್ರೀ ಟಿ ವಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಟು ವೇ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ನ್ಯಾಯ ದೀಕ್ಷಾ ಇನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆನಿ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ವೇ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ನ್ಯಾಯ ದೀಕ್ಷಾ ಹೈದರಾಬಾದ್ ಗುಪ್ತಕಾಶಿ ಸ್ಯಾನ್ಯೂಸೆ ಮಧುರೈ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಆಲ್ವಾಲ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ರಾಬಾದ್ ಹ್ಯೂಸ್ಟನ್ ಕಾಳಹಸ್ತಿ ಲಾಸ್ ಏಂಜಲೀಸ್ ಅರುಣಾಚಲಂ ಗೋಡಲು ಪ್ರಾಮೇಶ್ವರಂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಗರಂ ಹೈದರಾಬಾದ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಗರ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ವಿನಿಪೆಡ್ ಕೆನಡಾ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಲೂಯಿಸ್ ತಿರುಮಲ ದುಬಾಯ್ ವೈದ್ಯನಾಥಂ ಸಿಂಗಪುರ್ ಸಿಂಗಪುರಂ ಸ್ಕಾಟ್ಸ್ ಡೇಲ್ ಅರಿಜೋನಾ ಸಿಯಾಕೆ ಚಿದಂಬರಂ ಬ್ಯಾಲಸ್ ದ್ವಾರಕ ಸ್ಯಾನ್ಯೂಸೆ ಮದುರೈ ಹ್ಯೂಸ್ಟನ್ ಕಾಳಹಸ್ತಿ ಲಾಸ್ ಏಂಜಲೀಸ್ ಅರುಣಾಚಲಂ ಗೋಡಲು ಪ್ರಾಮೇಶ್ವರಂ ಚೋರ್ಪಾಟಿ ನೇಪಾಳ್ ಎನ್ರಿಚಿಂಗ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಬಿಡಗಿ ಟೊರೆಂಟೊ ಡೌನ್ಟೌನ್ ಫಿಲಿಪ್ ಐಲೆಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ರೇಲಿಯಾ ಟರ್ಕಿ ಇಸ್ತಾಂಬುಲ್ ಟರ್ಕಿ ವೇಮನ್ ಸಿರಗಂಗೆ ಕೋಲಾಲಂಪುರ್ ಪರಣಿ ದುಬಾಯ್ ವೈದ್ಯನಾಥಂ ಒಹಾಯೋ ಪ್ರಯಾಗ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಆಲ್ವಾಲ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ರಾಬಾದ್ I welcome all of you with my love and blessings. Today I will expand on casting enlightenment, Mahabharata characters and Kalpatahu. Because all these three are very closely connected. Please understand the first thing. Karana is the embodiment of charity. I can say he had all the best qualities in a way little more than Arjuna. Just only one mistake. Association with self-denial. Duryodhana. That's all. Bhishma. Embodiment of Dharma. Righteousness. I can say righteousness is one aspect of Dharma. Giving, giving is another an aspect of dharma. That is why in Sanskrit, for giving, for righteousness, for all these great qualities, the same word dharma is used. And Acharya Drona, amazing knowledge and ability to teach. But all this will be no use if it joins with self-denial, Drona, Ms. Duryodhana. Dhritarashtra is the embodiment of self-doubt. Shavini, embodiment of self-hatred. Duryodhana, embodiment of self denial if bishma drona karana all of them have moved out of duryodhana what an amazing heroes they are even panchabandavas are nothing in front of these characters so it's very important for you to know not only who you are with whom you associate. Your Sangha also need to be right. Whether you join in Satsangha or Dushangha, your Sangha also decides your fate. You can't say, no, 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 wherever I am, I will protect myself. No. You are not that powerful. You are not that intelligent. You are not that capable. 
really Bhishma thought he will protect himself and protect the Astinabra. He will save Astinabra kingdom. He will save Duryodhana. Drona never thought he will not be able to save Duryodhana. Drona really would have thought he will save Astinabra. Bhishma would have never imagined in his life he has to throw arrows at Krishna, whom he worshipped every day. His own Ishta Devata. He has to throw arrows at him. The tradition says Krishna has to come to Chennai, Triplikin, Tiruvalli Keni, and rest, get treated. For all this Vishnu Bana, the wounds of wounds created in his body and face by the Bhishma's arrows. No one else's arrows were able to touch Krishna. But Bhishma Bana's created wound on Krishna's body. Still, the Parthasarati in Triplicane, the deity carries the wounds all over the face and the body. Every year, even now, that season, after that Kurukshetra war, that 40 days, he is given a herbal, Ayurvedic herbal bath. Ayurvedic oils are applied on the deity and no one was allowed to have darshan. He was left to rest and recoup. Bhishma would have never imagined he will be forced to throw arrows at his own Ishta Devata. Understand, never ever associate yourself with Duryodhanas, the Dusanga, even the characters like. Bhishma, embodiment of righteousness. What an integrity and authenticity. Sure, the power of his integrity has saved him. No one was able to kill him. Even Arjuna was not able to kill him. But his whole integrity he is made useless. He was not dead. He was not killed. But he was made useless. Just lying on the arrow bed in the Guru Kshetra. So understand, Bhishma, embodiment of integrity, Karana, embodiment of charity, what a giving style. One of our sannyasi was coming in the flight. In the air hostess, male guy, he saw her watch and said, watch is very pretty. The watch she was wearing was with Rudraksha. Then immediately she took it and gave it away. She asked a sannyasi, the moment you like something, I have to give it away. The air hostess, he was looking shocked. He could not understand. He said, no, no, no. She said, it's okay, please have it. I was so happy when I saw that scene. You know, the sannyas has to be practiced continuously. I'm very clear. I don't own anything. Whatever is there belongs to Sangha. If anything is mine, anybody has, it is theirs. Karana, his charity, the amazing quality of charity he had, Every one of us should meditate on karna to imbibe that quality of charity. Unimaginable quality of charity. Warfield about to die. Even at that moment, Krishna comes and asks for 
all the punyas he has done, Karna doesn't care, doesn't bother. He knows if he gives away all the punyas, he immediately will be dead. But he gave away. That is why Vyasa, when he writes, for nobody else he uses the word moksha. When Drona was killed, he says Dronavada. For everyone, he uses only the word vada, vada, vada. For karana, Vyasa uses the word karana moksha. Karana was not killed, he was liberated. Because his good actions were the only thing which were stopping him getting enlightened. He had all the best qualities. And whatever small bad actions karma was there, he has suffered enough for it. Only his good actions are stopping him getting enlightened. Krishna goes and takes away all the fruits of the good actions and liberates him. Such a character. See, it's like a, just through charity he became enlightened. He got liberation. But even he is useless when he was living because of his association with self-denial. Even the karana, useless when he was living in the body because of his association with self-denial. Understand, whatever good qualities you may have, do not allow the sangha, this sangha, association of self-doubt, self-hatred, self-denial. Yudhishthira is embodiment of integrity. Bhima is embodiment of authenticity. Arjuna is embodiment of responsibility. Sagadeva is embodiment of enriching. Even when any opposite guy, Duryodhana, comes to Sahadeva, he blesses him, saying that you start the war on this day, you will be successful. That kind of an enriching. Enriching even enemy, Nagula, is embodiment of causing. He went on being a catalyst for everyone to realize their reality. He was such an amazing support for Yudhishthira, Arjuna, Bhima, and for Sahadeva, everyone. He was just behind the scene, always being a support. All these five won the game of life only by the grace of Guru Krishna. They listened to Krishna. It is their satsang. Otherwise, I tell you so many times, Pandas would have been killed. So many times they would have been dead. It is their association with Guru, the Satsanga, I tell you. Whoever you become, never miss association with Guru. Even if you become Badusha of Delhi, you need the feet of the Guru. Whatever you may become, in Tamil, there is a proverb. Whatever you may become, in Tamil, they say that Delhi Raja Nalam Appanukku Pullayayiru means be a son your, to your father. Because the Satsanga protects you. I tell you, at least 100 times Pandavas would have been killed if not for Krishna. With the whole kingdom and the infrastructure, Duryodhana was not able to live. Bhishma, Drona, Karna, they were not able to live because of their wrong association. But being in the forest without anything, Pandavas survived, finally won the game of life, got everything back just because of one association, Krishna. I tell you, 
the whole mahabharata teaches the lesson of satsanga right association satsanga behaves as a kalpataru taru whatever you want you get it dussanga takes away everything you have the wrong association takes away whatever you have from your life that is the lesson you have to learn from mahabharata see both side just the right association pandavas got everything they want satsanga is kalpataru one wrong association duryodhana is actually result of savini self denial is the result of self hatred it's very surprising savini is not a humanizer because he hates himself so much he can never love anybody all these three neither dhritarashtra nar savini or duryodhana all three of them are not humanizers but i am not saying humanizers are right or something don't mistake no they hate themselves so much they can't love anybody they can't even have romantic relationships in their life i am not saying all the people who have romantic relationships do not have self hatred or self denial sometimes even to escape from the self hatred and self denial it becomes a perversion people become humanizers that is different self hatred self denial and self doubt whatever may be the good qualities you have embodiment of good qualities you may be just this one wrong association can destroy everything a sense of whole bhagavad gita is the master awakening responsibility that is why you see the whole bhagavad gita talks only about responsibility 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 karmanye adhigaraste mahabaloshi gatachana krishna awakening arjuna guru awakening the responsibility in beings listen each character in mahabharata please understand it can never ever be imagination each one of them live the whole essence the relationship you build in your life the sangha you choose in your life that protects you no one can harm you if you have the right sangha no one can save you if you have the wrong sangha no one is able to save even bhishma drona drona would have never thought his own chosen disciple will raise the bow against him to whom you would have thought how to be all the bow with so much of love and care to whom you would have thought how to hold the bow to protect whom he took away the thumb of ekalaya to defend whom he put karna down he would have never thought that arjuna will stand against him he has to fight with that arjuna that is why i tell you you can never write a better thriller than mahabharata story with so many twists so many layers than mahabharata after reading mahabharata all other stories epics looks pigmy the tsunami of human emotions the navarasa in each character's life drona would have never imagined 
the disciple whom he groomed, spending his whole life, will stand against him. All the astras, shastras, he taught, will come on him. <laughs> Understand? You may be a great acharya, unless you complete with the self-denial, your whole knowledge is useless. You may be a great teacher, unless you complete with your self-denial, it is useless. You will be lost in the war of life. Drona's putra basa is putra basa killing. Drona never became powerless in front of any captain. But his associate is deep attachment to Aswatthama. That is why Krishna plays a game to make Drona powerless. He sends a message, Aswatthama is killed. Immediately Drona becomes powerless. You may be a great Acharya, but if you become powerless in front of Putra Pasha, the Putra Soha, you lose the war of life. Then, now it is easy. Once Drona became powerless, all the patterns take over him is gone, dead, destroyed. I will give the essence in Hindi. The essence of today's satsang is satsang. If you have satsang, no one can destroy you. However powerful they may be, if you are in the Dusanda, wrong company, no one can save you. However powerful you may think you are, Satsanga protects you. With Satsanga, no one can destroy you. With Dusanda, no one can protect you. Listen. Satsang gives you whatever you want, even if you lost everything. See Vishtra, he did not even have himself. He lost even himself and went to forest. But just the Satsanga, Krishna's company, he got everything back. All the Triloka came under him. See Duryodhana. He inherited everything. Did not have any enemies. Had all the best people thinking for him, supporting him, fighting for him. But just the Dushanga Sahoni. And Krishna are exact 360 degree opposite characters. The celebration of life is Krishna. Self hatred is Chaguni. Exact opposite. The Chaguni is Sangha. Destroyed Duryodhana. Krishna Sangha saved Yudhishthira and gave everything to him. So whom you choose as an important company in your life matters. Even psychologically with whom you feel connected matters. Whom you think, remember, celebrate matters. I tell you, all the satsangis who are sitting in satsang every day, I tell you, satsang matters. Satsanga is kalpataru. Whatever Yudhishthira wants, he got it. Just by the association with Krishna. Whatever Duryodhana had, he lost it. Just by the association of Shaguni. Shaguni, self-hatred, always comes with a sister of self Destruction, Gandhari. How for no reason she destroyed herself? She might have developed a beautiful logic. 
for tying the ribbon around her eyes, but self-destruction. So self-hatred always comes with the sister, self-destruction. When this brother and sister enters your family, your family is gone. Without Savani, surely Duryodhana would have transformed himself. Dhritarashtra would not have allowed Duryodhana to be destroyed so badly. To that extent, it is Shaguni and Shaguni's power over Dhritarashtra. The self-destruction shows as if it is dedicated to you. Even if it is dedicated to you, destruction is destruction. Continue on the various characters of Mahabharata. The Mahabharata Yudha is our life where constantly self hatred tries to cheat integrity, authenticity, responsibility and enriching. self hatred always try to tell you integrity will not work, authenticity will not work, responsibility will not work, enriching will not work, you are going to get cheated, you are a fool. See, Yudhishthira looks like a fool throughout Mahabharata. No one will believe Yudhishthira is going to win the game till the end. He looks like a fool, especially when he is controlling Bhima and Arjuna many times. Bhima and Arjuna would have finished the whole Kauravas when they had the dice game itself. <laughs> After the game, if Yudhishthira keeps quiet, kept quiet, Bhima and Arjuna would have finished the whole kingdom and would have coronated Yudhishthira on the spot, especially when they touched Draupati. Draupati is enlightenment. That is why enlightenment comes with all these five are part of enlightenment. Draupati is Pati. Self-hatred and self-denial and self-hatred and self-denial always abuse enlightenment. Enlightenment is the sister of incarnation, Krishna. When Savini comes in your life, he brings Gandhari, self-destruction. When Krishna comes in your life, he brings Draupati, enlightenment. With whom you associate, you get his sister. Giving the daughter from your family to the guy is a way of showing respect in those days. When you want to honor somebody, you give a daughter from your family, showing that you are worthy of my respect. Each character, whatever may be the struggle, Enlightenment never left integrity, authenticity, responsibility and enriching. It was with them throughout. Draupadi was with Pandavas throughout. Raised them back to the right level. Understand, Yudhishthira, integrity. When you start, integrity never looks like he is going to win the war. But you will see, finally, Yudhishthira only was coronated. I tell you, even if you have thousands of doubt about integrity and authenticity, stand with it. Guru's grace will always be with you. Krishna's grace also was with Pandavas, because of their quality. Otherwise, Krishna was no way biased. It was the quality they had. So I tell you, carry the integrity and authenticity, responsibility and enriching. You will always have Guru's grace on you. Guru will be on your side. Integrity is born from Kala. 
ಯಮಧರ್ಮ ಯುಧಿಷ್ಠಿರ ಯುಧಿಷ್ಠಿರ ಇಸ್ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯಮಧರ್ಮ ಯಮಧರ್ಮ ನೆವರ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಐ ಯುಧಿಷ್ಠಿರ ಇಸ್ ಎಂಬಾಡಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಟಗ್ರಿಟಿ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಟಗ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ಮಾಸ್ ಯಮಧರ್ಮ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ಅಥೆಂಟಿಕ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಯು ಭೀಮ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಯು ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲಿ ಇಂದ್ರ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದರ್ ಎಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಲ್ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ನಗುಲ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಹದೇವ ದ ಅಶ್ವಿನಿ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಅಸ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಎನ್ರಿಚಿಂಗ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ಸ್ the greatest doctors doctor profession is the most enriching profession the greatest healers both are son of greatest enrichers kundi is embodiment of tapas her whole life if you see she is embodiment of tapas continue to expand on mahabharata and causing enlightenment let you all achieve experience live express radiate share and explode in eternal bliss nityananda nityananda dhyana peetam nityananda nagar of mysore road bidadi bengaluru phone 08027279999 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com/lifeblissfoundation